Hey Internet, JB here, of course, here at Darkside Records, located at 611 Duchess Turnpike in Poughkeepsie, or on the web at darksiderecords.com. Of course, every Tuesday here at Darkside Records is Used Twos for Use, where we put out a fresh batch of pre-loved goodies for your dibbing and buying pleasure. That's right, records, CDs, movies, t-shirts, things, stuff, what have yous, all kinds of bullshit goes out for you on these very racks. And occasionally, we get something a little special, and they go right up there on the wall that we call the Rarities Wall, where we put our rare, limited edition, and hard to find pieces. And every Wednesday, we'd like to show you one thing off that wall in a short video series that we like to call Wall Record Wednesday. <laughs> this Wednesday, we've got a special piece here from the mighty Metallica. S and M box set. No, not that kind of S and M. You dirty bird. Of course, this S and M is a live album with the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra, recorded April 21st and 22nd, 1999. It was recorded at the Berkeley Community Theater. The symphony was conducted by Michael Kamen and is the last Metallica release to feature Jason Newstead features interpretations of Metallica songs as well as a couple orchestral pieces and included two new songs, No Leaf Clover and Minus Human or Hyphen Human, Dash Human. You let me know how it's pronounced in the comments below. But let's open up this box set and take a look. As you can see, it comes here in this deluxe thick cardboard case, artwork on the front, low res photograph on the back. That's a Metallica zing. The LPs on this are cut at 45 RPM. Here we go, we're gonna open it up here. Put the cover to the side. Originally sold with an OB strip that went around the whole thing, letting you know that it is cut at 45 RPM. Louder, faster, heavier. For some reason I did a Boston accent. Metallica like you've never heard them before. I can't commit to accents. These are dirty, dirty people. Comes with a full color booklet that gives you credits, track listing, photos, and opens up like this in all its beautiful, full color Metallica photograph glory that I hope is coming out in this video. I'll put this here, there we go. So the LPs all come in these black and white sleeves. Very straightforward artwork, track listing, etc. It has these white paper inner sleeves. Not sure if they came with the original pressing or if we did that just to be a bro. Black and gray label artwork. Put that one there for you. It has orchestral accompaniments on a ton of classic and what were at the time much newer Metallica songs. The thing that should not be and fuel, of course, off the Load series, which came out right before this. Ooh. A second OB strip that honestly I'm not exactly sure where it went. Looks a little smaller like it would fit around one of these uh, disc sleeves here. I guess I will put that one also right there, letting you know that it's cut again at 45 RPM. I don't have enough room for all these discs, so I'm just gonna put them down here so you can see them. And the other three. Who has Stuart's coffee? And the other three. James Hetfield has stated repeatedly that the idea to do orchestral arrangements actually came from Cliff Burton, RIP. And apparently at the end, Lars Ulrich is said to have said, same time next year, which brings us to now, 2020. 20 years later, Metallica just announced that they are releasing S and M2 on a deluxe vinyl package, uh, including an orange indie exclusive four LP set that you can pre-order right here at Darkside Records. Head on over to our website, darksiderecords.com and do that today. Let us know what you think of uh, s and Are you a fan of the orchestral arrangements? Are you a fan of this edition? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We appreciate it, all of it. As well as all the internet things. Like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff. And you can see way more great new arrivals every Tuesday at Darkside Records for Use Twos for Use. And don't forget to catch us Monday nights live on Facebook, where we give you an extra sneak peek at what goes out each week 
in our Use Tools for Use Previews Live video series. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another great used wall record. So until then, see you in the bins.